Hello everyone, my name is Royce Electron and welcome back to Cal is Famous. And in the last episode, I discovered something, something special. The spirit and the power of Christmas. And Kyle became Santa Claus just by deciding that he can. And elves came out as his, his buddy. And I don't know what happens next. So, now let's look at the endings. I've reached a few endings in the last episode, like one, two, I think, one, two, three, and then where is it? Four. So, Santa do these. There's one, two, three, four, six more. So I've got one, so there's seven total. And there's something to unlock over here. So, in this video, I'm gonna try to do everything I can as Santa. Ooh, there's like sparkly uh, lights in the background now. Yes. Skip. Start day. Hmm. Now, what do I do? Do I open the closet? Choose an outfit. Santa suit! Kyle probably Kyle appropriately chose to dress as Santa, who he was. Exit bedroom hallway. Move to kitchen. Make Christmas cookies! Oh! I can make Christmas cookies! Okay. Soon he had narrowed down... Wait, what? Let me just restart. Make Christmas cookies. Kyle thought it would be nice to make some Christmas cookies. He opened every drawer and cupboard in his kitchen, trying to decide what he would top his cookies with. Soon he had narrowed it down to four choices. Dirt, silverware, sprinkles, or dead rats. Mmm, dead rats. That sounds delicious. If I was six, though, and a little nightmare, because that little bitch eats rats and also eats mushroom friends. <laughs> so, do I go as a... Good Santa, or a naughty Santa, who feeds dirt to people. Sprinkles. Kyle placed a generous amount of sprinkles on each cookie. They were delicious, so he just ate them. I thought we were gonna give them to kids. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Turns the hallway. Ooh. Should I go to Gabby? Kyle approaches downstairs neighbors and knocked. Mm. Read and start conversation. Tell Gabby about being Santa. Hey Gabby, said Kyle. I'm Santa. He played his arms out wide. Gabby wordlessly shut the door. Gabby, why are you so rude? Mm. Give presents to children. Yes, and we go to the park. Uh, what? What do you mean, give? Give nothing? I have cookies. I have food. I have something to give them. Hmm, so, if Kyle had not bothered to actually bring anything to give the children, he had nothing to give them. I had cookies! Kyle! Did you eat all the cookies you made? I thought you were making them for the kids. That's why it was blue and it's Santa. You know, Christmas cookies. For other people, because you're Santa. You're supposed to give them. Well, I think you're not supposed to give them. You want to give them. You want to give them something for Christmas. Sorry, kiddos, he said. You're not getting any presents today. You're in the naughty list. And I am too. Kyle had a long, meaningful laugh. Why do you always let out meaningful things when it has no meaning? Well, probably to you, you have, it has meaning. Like your scream, that's just random sounds going out your mouth and spinning. And just, you know, disturbing Gabby every time. And now your laugh has meaning. Okay. The children look at Kyle with faces of understanding. We understand, Santa, one said. It's hard to bring gifts to every child in the world. Instead, we will gift ourselves your soul. Oh, no. Is this a child that that's in a cult that consumes soul, souls? You know? Like, uh... The child's mouth opened to an uncomfortable size and his eyes began, turned pitch black. He began to inhale. Oh, no. <gasps> Kyle's soul began to fall from his body and consumed by the child, but Kyle knew what to do. What? The power of friendship, or the power of Santa Claus, and send out his thousands of elves to eat the child. 
Harold began spewing elves out of his mouth and the soul rending maw of the child. Haha, <laughs> I knew the solution. One by one, the elves, the elves disappeared, feeling a, feeding a small amount of what Kyle's soul could feed. After many hours, Kyle had stuffed the child completely full of elves. There was no more room for his soul to be taken. So did the kill expl explode? Or did it just bloat? Or did it do nothing? Kyle hosted the fat and groaning child off the ground and placed him in the arms of his parents. Continue to feed him continue to feed him small animals for the rest of his life, so he is too full to move or think, he said said Kyle. Then the world will be safe. Kyle skipped away gleefully, knowing he had done a wonderful thing for his city. So that was what would happen if I give give them nothing. That evening, Kyle thought back to the events of the day. He remembered that he had brought no gifts for the children. But then Kyle realized that he had gifted the children something. He had given them safety. He had given them a future. Yes, that is what I was saying. Kyle went to sleep grinning. He fe felt very fulfilled. That had a lot of Fs. <laughs> Kyle had given the best gift ever. Kyle gifted nothing. Reset. Let's become something special. Skip. Start day. Hmm. Open closet. Choose an outfit. Santa Claus. Back to room. Scavenge. Elves! Kyle wins as he realizes. He probably needs to bring some elves along. Kyle grabbed a nearby bag. He started to crawl around and snatch up elves left and right and chucking them inside. Soon, Kyle's bag was mostly full of elves. No matter. Kyle used his elbow to compress the bag's content so it could fit more elves. After several sho shoves, the content of the bag had compressed severely. Is 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 did it become a ball of meat? And it's now a meatball that's made out of elves with like, you know, some clothes and shoes falling out. Kyle continued to gather elves. Soon Kyle's bag was a solid mass of elf flesh. Ah. Let's go to desk. Great Santa's list. Kyle knew he must construct his naughty and nice list. He began to think of all the people in his life. Kyle thought of Gabby. Hmm. Naughty Gabby. Yes, Gabby. Huh. Gabby crashed through Kyle's floor and began pen punching him in the face repeatedly. Wait, how did you know that you were put in the naughty list? After a few minutes, she left through his bedroom door. Kyle thought of Rachel. Naughty! Kyle thought of Techno Jim. Nice! Kyle thought of Kyle. Hmm, what do I think of myself? What do I think of myself? Nice or naughty? Kyle is nice. Kyle ripped his list out of his notebook. Mm. Check in drawer? No. Sorry, change. Back to desk. Let's go and eat food because I might die if I don't eat food. Food, not food. Yes, turn to kitchen. Oh, showtime. Kyle hurry to the set. I have loose change now. Okay. Good evening, Kyle, she said. I've... L looking him in the eyes, I've been looking forward to being here. Before Rachel had completely finished her sentence, Kyle took his bag of elves and dumped them on her. Did she get squashed? The elves grabbed onto Rachel with a deathly unshakable grip. Oh no, Rachel's gonna die. Kyle, what on earth? C cried Rachel. She left from her chair and tried to bat the elves off her. This Rachel, said Kyle, are your newest and bestest friends. You must take good care of them. The elves looked Rachel in the eyes and smiled endearingly. Known to anyone previously, Rachel had terrible allergic reactions to elf dander. Wait, what? Someone has an allergy to elves? They are not even real. Well, Elves exist in the story, apparently, so probably just appropriate. <laughs> Within moments, Rachel's whole body turned bright and bright red and began to puff. This reaction was not likely a was not like a normal reaction. The very foundational composition of Rachel's person began to change. The chi uh, explode into tiny atoms and make a nuclear explosion that would break and destroy Earth, probably. Probably not. <laughs> Rachel started to sprout limbs from her, 
her legs and forehead. For the uh, what? Her fingers grew, grew extra eyes. As Rachel continued to mutate, it became obvious to the onlookers what was happening. Rachel was transforming into the pure embodiment of Christmas. What is the pure embodiment of Christmas? Birth of Christ. So, did she become baby? I don't know. Kyle realized that if he was going to keep his job as Santa, this would be have to be nipped in the bud. Kyle started to pull elves off the growing ratio. Instead of slowly, slowing the growing process, this seemed to give Rachel's body more space to develop new limbs and ears. Oh no, after p pulling off a few more elves, Kyle threw up his hands in the frustration and gave up. He walked out of the building and let everyone die. Rachel continued to grow, becoming a shapeless mass of teeth, shoulders, and fat. The elves were slowly enveloped. After the initial shock wore off, the surrounding community began to appreciate Rachel's new form. So, does it look cool? Probably not, because it's a ball of teeth and fat and shoulders and legs and limbs and, uh, I don't know, boobs. <laughs> uh, over the years, she became an icon of local Christmas tradition, acting as a centerpiece for decorations and celebrations. Rachel truly became the embodiment of Christmas. And her body became Christmas. And now she is called Christmas. And now gifts were put on her body. And Christmas trees were stabbed onto her toes. Ew. <laughs> Kyle still Santa remained very jealous. Kyle started a tradition. Ooh. Santa interviews endings. Hmm. Did I get something for that? Endings. Mm, Santa duties. What is this? Kyle was Santa. Rachel become, became Christmas. Wait, there's two? Okay, Santa duties. Let's go and see what I can do with Santa. Skip, start day, open closet, choose an outfit, Santa, back to room, sit at desk. Let's see what happens if I go and make everyone nice. Check in drawer, sorry change, back to desk, check in drawer, small key, back to desk, check in drawer, let's get everything. Mm. Classical music, back to desk, back to room, let's eat. Oh no. Oh no. Leave apartment. No! Oh! I made the wrong choice. Uh. Okay. I was supposed to... I think I was supposed to give, like, changes? Or something. Uh. If I do this, this might not be a Santa ending. But I want a Santa ending right now. To explain that you are Santa. Kyle continued, I am your host, Santa Claus. I am here to bring you Christmas cheer. Kyle put his nose, notes down and looked at Rachel. Ah ha ha, said Rachel, not understanding. What? No, I, it was not ah ha ha. It was a ah ha 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 ha. It, it's not something to joke about, Rachel, said Kyle. I take being Santa very seriously. And I take you very seriously, Kyle, said Rachel, trying to play along. I am not Kyle, said Kyle. I am Santa Claus. Produce pres present. In an effort to convince Rachel of his Santa nature, Kyle hacked a present out of his mouth into his hand. What? Kyle pushed the soggy present into Rachel's lap. What? Rachel looked slightly unsettled, but reached her hand un to, to undo the bow on the top. Shh, said Kyle climbing his hands on top of Rachel's. You can't open it. You can't open it until Christmas. Rachel decided to play along. It's not Christmas yet. I'm sorry, Santa, said Rachel manneredly. Do you happen to have your naughty and nice list with you? I want to know where I stand. Yeah, I do, said Kyle, pulling out his list. You're on the nice list. Well, thank you, Santa, said Rachel. What a nice surprise. Kyle was suspicious. Is it a surprise? He asked, raising his eyebrows. Uh, Rachel coughed. Oh. Uh, of course it isn't. I'm nice. Always on the nice list. 
It's okay if that's the case, I wanna try something, said Kyle, what? So if I put you on the naughty list, will you turn into a bad person? Like, can I control your morality? Oh, it's like a, it's like a death note, but... Uh, but different. Like a nice note, or naughty note. <laughs> Before Rachel could answer, Kyle crossed her off the nice list and added her name to the naughty list. Oh no, Rachel, are you gonna kill me? Immediately, something changed. Ooh, Rachel jumped out of her seat in a blind rage and began thrashing the studio, laughing horribly. Ah, ha, ha. Kyle, suddenly curious, began adding other names of people he knew to the naughty list. Friends, family, and acquaintances, acquaintances of Kyle began bursting through the walls, ceiling and floor fire in their eyes. Oh no, this looks like something. I feel like this looks like something out of an anime with, like, you know, supernatural notes. <laughs> it did not take long for the studio to fall into complete ruins. Kyle was fascinated by the r results of his actions. Kyle wrote a dissertation on the effects of Santa on adults and was published in many psych journals. So you did it for articles. Hmm. Is that good or is that bad? I don't know. It's all for the community. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just spouting words out of my mouth. I'm the word wanker. The mumble mm, molester. I don't know. <laughs> As research branched off of Kyle's finding, Kyle began to be known as much for his scientific findings as his talk show. Hmm, somehow Kyle became become extra famous. Kyle was extra famous. Did you gain 7 billion followers on YouTube? No, subscribers on YouTube. Not followers. Maybe Twitch. Twitch? I don't know. <laughs> Where did that go? It was on Kyle. Kyle was Santa, not Santa duties. Hmm, let's try going for Kyle was Santa now. Ah, embrace the Christmas spirit, skip, start day, open the closet, choose an outfit, Santa suit, back to room, sit at desk, Santa list, more, let's every- oh no! <laughs> let's make everyone naughty. Back to room, bedroom. Move the kitchen. Make Christmas cookies. I'm gonna eat dirt today. Kyle sprinkled a small amount of dirt on each cookie. They were iffy. Of course they were. Turn the hallway. Check locked door. Use Christmas magic. Whoa! Kyle stretched out his hand, twisting it in its socket. Round and around. He sang a Christmas tune under his breath. And then the magic disappeared and his hand was stuck on the doorknob. And now... He has no hand. I don't know whether it's left or right, but one is gone. The door swung open, letting Kyle through. Oh, it did open! Check swing machine. Check supernatural artifact. Get laser claymore! Oh! Oh! I've got a lot of things in this room, and I didn't even know this. Obviously, a room is locked. I couldn't enter. Hmm, this was one of the many mysterious artifacts Kyle had been sent over the years. Grab artifact. Kyle stashes the mysterious artifact for later use. Back to room. And back to hallway. Now we're on the showtime. Throw artifact at Rachel. As she approached to shake his hand, Kyle produced a supernatural artifact and winged it at Rachel face. Rachel's face within the moments of the artifact colliding with her head, Rachel started to turn into a lizard demon. Demon. Ow. My throat hurts now. I, uh, I can't read anymore. More. <laughs> Rachel began to cause destruction, tipping over light and causing crew members to scatter. Kyle realized that the disaster he had caused decided it was up to him to tame the monster. Throw crew members or throw self? Yes, throw self. Kyle launched himself at the monstrous racial. In a great collision of flesh, Kyle named, rammed the first phase into the monster's stomach. Kyle continued to launch himself into racial stomach with wild ambition. Abandoned. What? After several dozen collisions, small and insignificant bones in Kyle's body began to fracture. Kyle continued. See? Kyle's doing everything so excessively. He could stop when he knows it already hurts. But no, 
he goes on and continues. He's 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 trying to break his limits every time. He's eating all the condiments off the fridge. He's doing a hundred push up, hundred sit ups, hundred squats, ten thousand kilometers run every single day. And now he's broken his limits. And now he was Santa. He didn't become One Punch Man, but he became Santa. Rachel began to lose stamina from the in incessant damage Kyle was inflicting upon her. Upon her. Cal continued his assault. Nobody present, present could tell what parts of his body were bruised and what weren't. Eventually, in one well-placed lunge, the artifact embedded in Rachel's face, face popped out. Immediately, Rachel turned back into her normal human self. Studio now in shambles, flicked to life. The broadcast had started automatically. Cal, unable to move properly, became aware that the eyes of many were upon him. Kyle tried to address the audience, but instead spewed some mixture of breakfast, phlegm, and chunks of plaster. What? Why? Why, though? I ate dirt. I didn't eat plastic. Kyle was spewing video. Kyle spewing video became a very hot meme. Hmm. You remember the time when you puked, uh, I don't know, uh, your television? Hmm. Yeah, that was so relatable. It was a meme, though. <laughs> Online personalities used it to express distaste about social issues. Teenagers, teenagers sent it to each other about homeworks amounts. Rachel's broadcast was rescheduled for the following week. Hmm, I'm gonna try to think of a meme right now. I can't think of any. I, I'm not a memer. I don't have the mind of a memer. I don't have the mind of a comedian. I only have the mind of a gamer. Yes. Uh, but the commentator needs to be funny, don't it? Or maybe I just need to be good at playing games. That's all I do. Fans complain about not being able to see Rachel's face as she were pro wore protective headgear the entire time. Okay. Rachel prepared by being a lizard. Rachel prepared? Not Kyle? Okay. So let's look if there's... Oh no. Where is it? Where did it go? Where did that ending go? Is this? Oh. Oh. Okay, but, uh... I didn't get that much. I just got one from Santa's duties. I said that I was gonna complete it this episode, but I couldn't. I instead got two here, and Kyle was Santa. So... I'm gonna leave this episode of Kyle is famous here. Uh, probably in the next episode, I will also still be doing Kyle is famous uh, Santa Claus because uh, it might run run out till like you know New Year because it's December right now. So maybe it's a limited time event that I can complete the endings. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up button and share it again. Leave a comment down below on which you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Electrify. Electrify with you.